wait, I see the shampoo down here. Yeah, here's the accompanying shampoo. And I am actually tossing out my Orbe Dry Texturizing Spray. This is so old, but I also don't like it. I know this is a very, very popular product, but I just don't feel like it does anything. Is anyone else out there with me? I know this is a very unpopular opinion, but I just don't feel like it does anything. And like I said, this bottle is probably like six or seven years old, so I'm just tossing it. And then this, oh, the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo. This I actually used up quite, like most of it, but I'm getting rid of it because it actually makes my scalp itchy. So that's not good. <laughs> Definite not repurchase. Um, here is a cleansing like foam that I finished. This is the Fit Glow Cloud Ceramide foam cleanser. So I finished this up. Um, I thought it was nice. I don't know that I'm the biggest fan of the foaming cleanser. So it's like when you pump this down, like foam comes out. It's okay. I mean, I feel like, I don't know. It was, I, don't, I like to feel my product. So I like ones with a little bit more substance. So while it was nice, and I remember it smelling very nice, maybe like berries, I probably wouldn't, uh, well, this was gifted to me, but I probably wouldn't purchase this because I don't think I'm a fan of the, uh, the foaming texture. Oh, okay. <laughs> Bunch of really random stuff. I just wanted to show that I used up uh, my droplet capsules. Um, I was using the retinol and I was also using the collagen. I, I know I've used up more than this, so I don't know why I just threw this in here. But anyway, I'm still using my droplet device. I really, really enjoy that. I think it does a really nice job like keeping my skin really plump. Uh, so I am enjoying that. Um, here is the Irene Forte Hyaluronic Serum. Um, you know, this, this serum is very, very nice, but I was using this right after I finished the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum, which is probably my all-time favorite. So while this was very nice, it really didn't stand up to that one. And so I don't think I would actually repurchase this because I would just go ahead and repurchase the Dr. Barbara Sturm. Uh, but this was very, very nice. And I know that Irene Forte is uh, more of like a, a clean, like botanical brand. So if that's more your thing, you'd probably enjoy uh, this. And then, oh, this is just a sample of the May Lindstrom Jasmine Garden. I already have a larger size. I love it. It's my one of my favorite facial mists for sure. Yeah. Probably my favorite at this point. And oh, the conditioning tonic with chamomile from Retrove. I was just talking about this as being one of my favorite toners. So I do like this. This one is a little bit more conditioning than the La Mer the tonic. The La Mer the tonic I find to be very, very balancing. Like it doesn't make my skin feel especially dry or moisturized, uh, but this one makes my skin feel a little bit more moisturized. So this is really great in the winter time. And I would definitely repurchase that. Augustinus Batter, the cleansing balm. This was a very nice balm. I liked it. I thought it did a good job. Um, I thought it removed um, any sort of excess makeup. Cause like I said, I like to remove my makeup first and then I go in with a cleansing balm like this. Um, the texture of this was very nice. It was you know, oily, um, the balm wasn't too stiff. It didn't feel like paste. Um, it had a very, very nice texture and there was no fragrance to it that I remember. So this was a nice one. I feel like if I wanted just kind of like a straight up cleansing balm, I would definitely uh, repurchase this one. Let's see, the Sicilier Concentrated Firming Body Cream. I like this body cream for all the reasons that it does not state. So I don't think that it necessarily firmed me up. <laughs> I think that that is really just a very, that that's asking a lot of a body lotion. Um, but what I do like about this is that it helped me personally with my, what is it called? The chicken skin. I have chicken skin like on the back of my, um, my upper arms. I have a little bit like on my thighs and it really, really helped with that because I can't use acids on my skin. My skin's very sensitive. It's eczema prone. Um, and this doesn't have any of that yet. It really helped with that. So I know that that that's not what this is for per se, but for me, it really helped with that. Uh, would I repurchase this just for that? I'm not sure. It was a very nice body cream. Really, the texture is very, very nice. I'm not sure if I would repurchase this. I did like it though, I did. Uh, the Clay de Peau Micellar Cleansing Water. I think, hold on, I think this had a fragrance. Yes, this one had a fragrance and it's not, you know, it's not terrible, but I really like, especially cleansers, I really like them to be fragrance free. So while this was a very good um, micellar cleansing water, it, it did, it was very effective. 
Um, I would prefer if it just didn't have a fragrance. So would I repurchase this? Probably not. Oh, the Tata Harper Softening Cleanser for Sensitized Skin. This was very, very nice. It's very gentle. So this was not a cleanser I liked using at night when I felt like I had maybe a little bit more makeup to remove or I just wanted to like wash the grime of the day off. But this was a very, very nice in the shower, uh, first thing in the morning kind of conditioning um, face wash, very, very gentle. And it left my skin feeling very, very like soft and plush. So I did really enjoy this uh, softening cleanser from Tata Harper, very nice. And oh, another thing from my husband, oh, he loves this, the Facial Fuel Energizing Scrub from Kiehl's. He loves this. In fact, I had to go back to Nordstrom during the anniversary sale and get more for him. <laughs> Because he was like, oh, the tubes this year are smaller. I'm like, I know. So I got more for him. He really loves this. He loves using it like in his beard, basically, where he gets ingrowns and stuff. And he thinks it helps tremendously. So uh, big, big thumbs up from the husband. Oh my God, so many things. What else do we have here? We have, oh, the Barber Sturm Hyaluronic Serum. I've been talking about this nonstop. I love it. This is the absolute best hyaluronic product I have ever used, hands down. Uh, will I repurchase it? Yes, as soon as I get through some more serums that I have that I just wanna work through, I am definitely picking this up again. The Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream with Saffron Flowers, one of my all-time favorite creams. It has a pudding-like texture. It has a wonderful fragrance. Those Saffron Flowers, like so, so good. This entire line, all of the Velvet products are incredible. So yes, I would definitely repurchase this. But again, I have a lot of moisturizers in my collection that I'm trying to get through, but I would not hesitate in picking this back up. This is glorious and it's great for day or night. It just has like that perfect kind of texture. It's not too thin and it's not too thick. So good. Ah, the Chantecai CBD cream. I really love this cream. It has a little bit of a thinner texture than say something like that velvet cream. Um, and it has like a light kind of like citrusy scent to it. And it is, it's just very, very calming. And I was using this um, just like on skin, like all over my body or anywhere where I felt like uh, my eczema was coming up or, you know, if you have eczema or if you get rashes, like, I don't know, I feel like you know when like things are coming, like, what is that? I don't know, I feel like I get like hot patches almost. So I would put this on there and it immediately feel calm. So anyway, this is a great, great product. And then we have the, Wow, this is hard to read. Gentle Eye and Lip Makeup Remover with Botanical Extracts from Sisley. This was very lovely. I found this to be a little bit too gentle, so I don't think I would repurchase this. Like, when I'm trying to remove my eye makeup, I want it to come off. It doesn't have to be that gentle. Like, like let's, let's get my makeup off, you know what I'm saying? So, um, while this was very gentle, <laughs> It was very nice. Uh, I didn't think it was effective enough, so I don't think I would repurchase this. We have <laughs> um, a Kirkjian Aqua Universalis travel size. I guess I used this up. I was carrying this in my purse for a while, so that's probably why it's gone. Um, this is one of my all-time favorite fragrances. So if you like clean, citrus-based fragrances, like really, really bright fragrances, you will really enjoy this. And I would definitely, definitely repurchase that fragrance, like no hesitation. And then the Chantecai Rice and Geranium Foaming Cleanser. This actually left my skin just a touch dry feeling. It would leave my skin feeling just a hint tight. So I only use this uh, basically in the summertime, uh, maybe after the gym, just times when I didn't feel like my skin was too dry already to begin with. Uh, and it was feeling kind of strong, I would use this. It definitely left my skin clean, that's for sure, but I did feel like it, it dried it out just a hint. And then we have the True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. I'm already using another bottle. So would I repurchase it myself? Because these were gifted to me, I would. I really, really like their oils. Um, very, very nice. They absorb quickly, they play well with other products. So this is a really good one. And yes, I would definitely purchase this myself. And then last but not least, I have this 111 skin. This is the Mezzo Infusion Lip Duo. So it had two ends. One end was a mask and then one end was a balm. So you would put the mask on, you would squeeze it out, kind of like swipe it on your lips, um, leave that on for a little while, and then you would put the balm on top. I don't know if you were supposed to wait a while or just put it right on top. I would wait a while. I'd want the mask to kind of do its thing. And then I would put the balm on top to kind of like lock it all in. So I'd probably wait, I don't know, five, 10 minutes. I basically had this on my bedside. And so when I got into bed, I would put the mask on, 
you know, we'd start flipping through Netflix, try and figure out what we're watching. And once we kind of settled on something, I would put the balm on. Um, so yeah, this was very, very nice. Um, it's very uh, rich. It definitely kind of like sits on your lips for a while. It doesn't absorb very quickly. So I wouldn't put this on in hopes to then apply like lipstick or lip gloss on top. This is definitely something I like using at night because like nothing else was going on top of my lips. So anyway, very, very effective. Just kind of heavy. Oh my God, and that's it. That is it. Those are all of the empties for this time around. Oh wait, no, I'm lying. Hold on. This, this is an empty. <laughs> my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I use this to tame my flyaways. And in this last um, Sephora sale, the get gifting or get giving 20% off. Anyway, I purchased two more of these uh, to replace the one that I keep down here and the one upstairs. I don't think I'm done with the one upstairs yet. But anyway, I love to use this for my flyaways. And I am done with this. And that is it. Those are my empties. Wow, that was a lot, right? That is it for today's Mishmas vlog. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you guys are having fun with Mishmas. I definitely am. I will see you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.